What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. Alright guys, we are looking at Clash. This is one of the most requested videos for anyone who's looking for a guide for free to play specifically are asking about and it is how to beat the Clash stage right before Kagalagalagalagalagagagan. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I have something in my throat. Then uh, I'm going to try to do this. This is my free to play account. I'm level 71. I'm just about to uh, to go to 72 in probably the next two days or so. Hopefully be able to finish 73 and then move on and completely finish story mode as a free to play player. So here is my setup. Okay, just so you guys can see, I'm, I'm not going to go through all my outfits. I'll just, I'll do that at the end if I can actually even finish it. But I'm using Westwind and A9 Redeer Bow. That's right. They've been just tossing me these left and right. So I've been lucky enough to do that. I'm going to bring two break skills. Uh, one that we got for free for joining the game, which is this one here, the Death Dance. And then I got a epic version of this light one as well too. So I got fairly lucky with the light stuff and I'm bringing to bring Nam as a breaker as well. Cha and Alicia for my DPS. And we're going to try this out together and see if I can get the job done. Now, if you think, if you think this account is not relatable for free to play, you might be right. Some of you might have better accounts. Some of you might have worse. I mean, unfortunately, this is how gotchas work. I'm only providing you what I can with what I have and what makes sense, right? So let's go ahead and jump in and let's hopefully make some sense out of all this and we can get the job done and finish this off pretty quickly, okay? So there's a good break. You want to start off with that kind of thing right there where the break comes into play right away because it will make the biggest difference for you if you guys can keep up with the breaks more than anything else, especially with these guys here because they take so much more damage when you do, do a break damage on them. Um, oh my god, that hurts so much. So the big thing here to note as well is I'm running a two-piece curse set, so my damage taken is going to be pretty wild. Uh, so if you're like, what the hell, Pain? Why are you getting your ass whooped so bad? It's because of that one reason right there. It's, um, yeah, the I might be dishing out a lot of damage. I'm also going to be taking a lot of damage, so keep that in mind when doing this, okay? Let's go over here, do a little break as well. Let them come down. Hopefully we can kill these guys together. All right. Here we go. Let's go West Wind. Okay, I think we got one of them down. All right, so not bad. There's a second break. Now, before you cast your ultimate here, I would suggest, highly recommend actually, you wait for the second guy to pop in. Do a little shadow step on him. There he is. And then and then worry about doing the uh, the alt here. Okay, that way at least you'll take you'll hit the second guy as well too while he's in there, and you're not suffering from you know losing out on this extra damage here. It's it's pretty good damage, so it's it's definitely worth it. Okay, here we go. Next guy, get in here. Do a quick break. There it is. Uh, we're not doing too bad, I think. We might have enough time. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out, I guess, very soon. Now, you want to keep Secret Bullet up as much as you can, so do not miss with your Westwind, guys. If you're using a Westwind like I am, um, do not miss with it, okay? Because if you miss with it, you're going to be starting over again with that Secret Bullet, and that's a huge amount of damage gone, um, like that right there. I think I missed that because he summoned. Okay, as I said it, it might have just happened to me. Okay, here we go. West Wind coming up soon. Here it is. Hopefully, we can kill one of these guys sooner than later. These guys are causing me a lot of problems together. Break them. Okay, we broke them. Good. Okay. Running out of MP. I think we should be okay. 25 seconds to finish this. I think we should be okay. So, I'll show you guys my setup after this, okay? Uh, in case you guys are, in fact, struggling with this, my setup might be able to get it done. I mean, it's close, right? We're getting there. And uh, I think by 73, we if I'm going at this trajectory here, we could, in fact, finish the entire game as free-to-play. There you guys go. All done. Completed. I think I'm actually three-starring everything here right now. Yeah, I think I've gone three-star across the board here as free-to-play all the way up. Okay? So let me show you guys how my setup looked, how I got this done. And yeah, look, I mean, if you look at it, I'm three-starring pretty much every single thing that's free-to-play. It's been, it's been a pretty damn good feeling 
to get all this done. So you guys can see here, there's my only Pain YT. This is the free to play account. Just again, just everyone's clear because some people don't believe that this is a free to play account. I have not bought any anything here. Uh, the 50 day shop, nothing here has been purchased, but the free daily ones, the relay pack, nothing's been touched. Uh, I'm just gonna show this again. Just, again, a lot of people are asking the question, so I'm, I'm gonna just show, okay, here we go. Nothing here, everything's still intact. Room blessings, all that jazz, still intact. Growth support, all still intact. I don't even touch this. Uh, you should never touch that, by the way. The costumes, still there. Relay packs, um, all three of them are still starting from scratch, all still there. Uh, level up packs, yeah, all of them are still there. Nothing has been touched except for this free one. Double up packs, again, same thing, nothing has been bought. Uh, mission packs, sorry guys, I, I know this may seem ridiculous that I'm doing this, but again, I, I have people questioning the free to play aspect. Um, and I, I just wanna make sure, because everything's in VODs, everything's are in live streams. I, do some things off stream obviously and that is specifically uh doing the trophies and getting myself all these extra currencies that i need to summon and stuff when it's time because I can't, I can't be doing that on stream every time right you guys can see here nothing there bonuses zero everything is still the same except for the free daily one uh today's theme again this one doesn't get touched either uh, because it does require gems diamonds fully intact all the double diamonds here and then exchange shop i mean there's nothing here that's that's pay to win an exchange shop so you guys can see completely free to play okay so it is definitely doable i just have a lot of luck on my account which i can't deny uh so it, it is what it is but that's part of gotcha i really don't have a choice here right okay here we go so uh Jinu, this is what i set up i did west wind and Rudy robo uh skill wise i did let me show you guys the following blessings uh reawakening boss rush dagger and the double edged sword uh for skills you guys already saw what that is already it's death dance and the iceberg or sorry the um armor break multi-shadow strike both epics got very lucky on that one as well uh level 10 for armor strike and level 9 for death dance the ultimate i have at level 7 so you guys can do that as well too if you need to artifact wise i want four piece set on this the burning curse set right and then i want four piece set on expert which really did help if you look at my stats they're pretty pretty dope uh, i've got uh, 16.8k with this setup here i've got 19k or close to 19k i think if i do uh let's see 1878 let's see what this one puts me at 18.15. Yeah, so I mean, a little bit close to 19k when I do the, the my new, my usual setup at least, okay? But for now, because we're doing Redero Ball, I'll just show you guys what I've been rocking with here, okay? Uh, so there you guys go. And uh, what do we have here? Stats, stats, 193.55% uh, crit damage. Yeah, a lot of crit damage, a lot of crit rate, zero def uh, armor, or sorry, uh, damage increase, which is wild, and 3.6% defense penetration. And then my actual hunters just so you guys can see here is my alicia i just i gave her this four piece set because i wanted to get the extra bonus damage from it because we have the four piece set for the burning blessing set what it does is it active whenever you t so use a support it actually increases the uh damage dealt by juno for 10 percent, and he also recovers some hp which is really really nice and it lasts for 10 seconds so that's extra 10 percent damage on top of the existing 20 percent damage i'm getting from the actual two piece set that i have for burning curse and then for uh cha i have this just normal setup just to do some extra damage and then for um what's her name uh nah i'm sorry i almost forgot her name geez uh so whenever she does a a break she'll get the greed stack it doesn't affect me right now obviously but the team does get it which includes i believe includes Jino. i have to go back and double check to see if that's the case so there you guys go that's that's how it's looking i am sitting at 303 if you look at my member managed team section right there 303 which keeps me in the white so try to get around th like that number. I think 300 might be even fine. I'm not sure. But 303 is definitely doing it for me. So with that set up there, guys, easily, not easily, but I mean, we were, we were able to beat it. And now the only thing left is get to 73 and then complete the game. All right, guys, this is Payne. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.